Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel for those returning and a big welcome to anyone who might be new today. Um, my name is Miss Chloe and this is my 12th floss tube. Today's only going to be a little video though. Um, I got a little bit overexcited because I have finished another two pages on Pokemon and it's getting really close to being finished guys. I'm so excited. So I'm going to show him to you first um, and then I'm thinking about doing the Super Stitcher Super Tag. <laughs> because that sounds super fun, right? So, here she is. Look, one, one more, one more, one more and she's done. So I am hoping to get her done by September 1st, which of course is my birthday. Um, so as a birthday present to me, I can start something new. So I'm going to be doing Startup September and that will be my hashtag for it. Um, I'm very, very excited for Startup September because I have been stitching this nonstop for a year. And I'm a little bit sick of it, but I also know it's, it's a bit bittersweet. Um, of course, we all know we're gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss talking about her and showing her and being like, oh, you know, I've just finished this color and I'm going into this one. and. <laughs> I, I love this piece. It's been my whole life for a very, very long time and it's been through a lot of things with me. So it's been through, you know, building my first house and buying my second house and getting married and losing my pet and getting new pets and all the big moments in life. I have been stitching on my little Pokemon. Well, she's not little, she's a bat. So next time I film, I am hoping it's because I have finished and I will be unrolling her for you. So I'm hoping to get it finished. So that's my goal, finish for September 1st. And then I can start on everything new. And I'm so excited. Um, I'd be really interested to see if anyone wants to do start up September with me. Um, if you do, obviously I'll be on the socials. So hashtag it out and I'll be able to see you. Um, if you're on Instagram and things, please, please, please leave your um, Instagram name in the comments below so that I can come follow you and I can see what you're doing and what you're working on because I do love to see it all. I love to see what everyone's doing and I love to have chats and I love to just hang out. Um, so yeah, drop me a comment even if you don't have Instagram. If you just want to have a chat through here, I'm super happy to do that too. I love seeing all the comments and chatting to you guys and finding out what you're up to. Um, but yeah, she's almost done. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. So excited. Um, I do have a few other little bits. Um, so I had, I had some new haul that I forgot to show you last time because I'm a scatterbrain. <laughs> and I got these from my girl. You're all gonna know who I'm gonna say, so say it with me. It's from Flissy Fish Cross Stitcher. And she got me some bookmarks. I love this one. It was really, really cute with the little butterfly at the top. I think it's really pretty. And then this one's got owls. I love owls. Have you guys seen that picture um, of like what owls legs look like and how long they are? It seriously creeps me out. I just can't like, their legs are so long. Like you see pictures of, of like little kids drawings when they try and draw someone with long legs and their legs just sort of go up to their shoulders, that's what owls are like. I found out this year and it blew my mind. It's all I talked about for like a month. It was my fun fact. Um, but yeah, owls are really cool. I like that their eyes are so big and their heads do the swivel thing. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm looking forward to stitching those. Of course, <laughs> you all know about the book collection, so I've got to have something to put in them. Every book should have its own bookmark. Am I right? Um, but I'm always on the lookout for more little kits. So if you guys see any anywhere um, that you think I should stitch up, send them to me. <laughs> Just send me comments that tell me where they are so that I can go in and see them um, and possibly spend all my money on them. Because bookmarks are great. Especially when you lend out your books to people. I don't do it often, but I do have people I like to lend them to and I like to provide a bookmark because it's nice to know that like I've done the thing to keep the book safe. 
you know? Okay, I'm a bit of a reading snob. My books don't get dog eared or drawn in or bent or... The most they get is my name in the cover because they're mine. But yeah, so that's really cool. And then everyone was really, really overwhelmingly nice with my last video too. I was missing number 829. And that was to fill in Venusaur's mouth down here, a few stitches here, a few stitches here, and there's like two stitches on this page that are like this far apart. Designing. Um, and I was really sad because I went to three different shops here in Adelaide and I could not find it for the life of me. So many of you reached out saying, if I see it, I'll let you know. If I see it, I'll grab one. Um, I'll contact you, I'll send it to you, whatever. And then there was Dawn. And Dawn had my floss. So Dawn was amazing. She practiced some stitchy kindness. She sent me this really cute little card and she sent me my floss. So I am super excited because that's the reason I've got so much done. I felt so motivated once I had the floss to, <laughs> to be able to stitch out. I was very, very excited. Um, so I got to fill him in and it was really satisfying, guys, just to watch his mouth change color and become real. So good. So thank you very, very much, Dawn. I really appreciate it. I will be sending it back once I get my two random stitches done um, because I don't want you to fall short for any of your projects in the future. I will be sending it back. Um, so I will let you know when it's posted, but keep an eye on the mail. <laughs> Um, and thank you again, because that was, that was just really, really surprising. And actually thank you to everyone that contacted me and commented saying they'd keep an eye out. And there was just so much positivity and so much niceness in my comments last time. And I did not expect that many people to reach out and say, you know, we'll keep an eye out. We'll find it. We'll get you one. It'll happen. I was, I was very overwhelmed and I felt very, very loved. So that was really, really cool. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you very much. Now, because this video is is only short, I thought I'd also do... I should probably put this guy down here. I get, I get really leany because the frame is so big. Like, it, it's, it's half my body. It, it's my entire torso, actually. So if I stand up a little, like... So I get really leany on it. <laughs> Does anyone else do that with big frames? Like... You end up hugging it more than more than sitting with it. <laughs> um, I definitely do. I know that's weird. <laughs> so I'm also gonna do the super stitches super tag. <laughs> so the first question in here is for Robin, as in Batman and Robin, the boy wonder. What is something that you started or stitched that's not completely your style, but for some reason grew on you? I've done a couple of things that have been a little bit out of my style, birth samplers mainly. Um, the first time I did it, I wasn't super sold. I'd never done anything for anyone else before. I was a little bit nervous. I didn't, I liked the design, but it wasn't, wasn't really my thing. It was lots of flowers and birds and stuff. You know, I usually do video game stuff um, or that sort of thing. So it was it was really, really different from anything I'd stitched before. And I've now done three of them. And by the time the third one rolled around, I was in love with it. It's got this cute little teddy bear on it. It's really, really sweet. It's very simple and it's easy to change the colors <laughs> um, because you just change the birds and the flowers. So I found that really, really good. And yeah, I really enjoyed stitching, stitching on them after a while. So question number two is Iron Man. Love yourself. Say something nice about your stitching. Whew. Okay. Um, I actually have two things that I quite like about how I stitch. So I've been told recently that I am a fast stitcher, which surprised me. I thought I would be pretty, pretty average. Um, but I've been told that I'm fairly fast and my stitches sit flat. Like, there's no bumpies. No bumpies. They're all flat. They're happy. Um, I really like that they sit down. 
I did have a few issues when I was a brand new stitcher where the thread knotted a little bit and it, it popped up and you can actually see it on my framed piece if you know what you're looking for. Of course, to anyone else, they, they don't know. They just think it's all lovely. That's nice, right? Um, but, you know, I can definitely tell. And after stitching that way, um, my big thing coming across was it's got to sit flat. It's got to sit flat. It's got to sit flat. Pull the tension through. Keep it the same. Um, things like that. So that's something that I really, really love because I worked really hard to get it that way. The Flash is our next guy. So he's, he's for question three. What is your quickest finish? I think my quickest finish was probably, probably Sora. I did him in a day because I just learned the skill. Um, and I was a little bit, a little bit very obsessed at that point. I really wanted to stitch and I wanted to keep going with it and I didn't want to put him down. Um, so he was probably my fastest and he's a small, he's probably only about this big. <laughs> Um, and he's being used as a bookmark currently. I don't have him, but I will insert a photo when I work out how. Um, <laughs> so that's him. So the next two questions, I can roll into one. So fourth is the Joker, and it wants us to show our crazies back. And the fifth is the Hulk. What is your largest whip? We all know who my largest whip is and who I'm going to grab. So he is very, very big. For those who haven't seen him unrolled. Here he is, top to tail. Um, so he is, he is huge. And he was only my third real project, my second big er piece. So you can, uh, this is, this is the back and Please be nice because it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible, okay? I, um, I was a very new stitcher. This has been my first six months of stitching. And this is, this is my favorite. I don't know why I decided to do this and didn't cut it <laughs> because it's so long. It's ridiculous, guys. But you can see, and you can see too, as I've gone on in time, Okay, this bit's not great because I've been lazy, but like you can see where it becomes a lot, lot neater and where it becomes better and where I've stopped traveling and then where I'm just like, no, I'm just going to travel. It's not that far. <laughs> and I've just gone back to crossing things. I have not been very good. Oh, my backs are always a mess, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I am actually going to challenge myself a bit like I did learning the flat stitching because I learned that on this piece. Um, now that I've got that mastered once I finish this big guy and he's away at the framer, I'm not going to let myself travel on the next piece. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me because I get, I get lazy and I get, I get to the point where I'm just like, no, it'll be all right. No one's going to see. It's going to go on the board. Do it. And I know it's a bad thing. <laughs> I know it's bad for the framer. And I know it's bad for the, for the thread. Um, but unless I show you, no one's ever going to know. So it's okay, right? <laughs> okay. Next question is number six. So this is Batman versus Superman. Do you prefer projects with very few colors or with a lot of colors? I think that I'm somewhere in the middle with this one. I really like my Pokemon piece because it's got a lot of color changes in it and I can never get bored stitching the same like color time and again. But then I pick up small things that, um, <laughs> that I really want to stitch that only have two or three colors in them. And I really enjoy doing that as well. I like that there's not a lot of changes. 
I think for single colors, I'm going to struggle a bit if it's all monotone. Um, I do have a couple of whips that I want to start in Startup September um, that are just black. They're on different colored fabrics, so that's nice. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I don't know how my brain's going to function with that. I don't know if I'm going to be okay with it. Um, because I, I quite like, I quite like doing a block of some color and then changing to a different one to give myself a bit of a break. Um, question seven is for Wonder Woman and it says, tell the truth. Who is your favorite superhero? God, I think, I think as far as this question goes, probably Storm. She's not considered a superhero. She has powers. Um, I've always liked it when it rains and I've always kind of wanted to be able to make it rain myself. Uh, both cash and money uh, and water. <clears throat> because who wouldn't want free cash raining from the sky? <laughs> as long as it's not coins, right? Um, but yeah, I think she's really cool. She's got a great backstory. She's, she's quite complex as a character. Um, so possibly her, but overall, I don't really know. Um, so that's a bit of a hard one. Anyway, guys, that's, that's all from me. So my plans are to finish the Pokemon and start all the things. Start me, start up September is going to be so much fun. I told my husband my plan for doing it. And he looked at me very seriously and just went, honey, are you sure? You're going to have so many projects if you do that. How will you know what to stitch on? You're not going to be, you're, you know, you're going to have to organize them and work out timings and, and that'll be a problem. And I just looked at him and went, that's the whole point. <laughs> um, I've actually had that, that feedback from a couple of people that I've talked to about my stitchy plans that aren't stitches. I think they just don't get it and they don't understand that we can sort of change our brains out for like I have a Pokemon project mind and then I have an Alice in Wonderland mind and then I'm gonna do bookmarks and smalls and everything else so um he's, he's a little bit confused right now but that's okay that's okay um so yeah I'm gonna get Pokemon finished I'm gonna do startup September and then I'm gonna hit the books hard with um staying for the refund and I will hopefully hopefully finish that one um, by mid-February. <laughs> There's a lot to go on it, and that's, that's a decent time window, I feel. It's only on, um, 14 count Ada, so it's, it's a bit bigger. It's going to be a lot nicer to my eyes than the 18 count that I've got over there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you very, very much for joining me again today. I really appreciate everyone that's come back, and anyone that's new, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe so that you can make sure that, well, if you comment, I'll comment back so we'll have a chat and that'll be fun. Um, if you like, that tells me that you like what I'm doing and I can make more videos just like this. And of course, if you subscribe, you'll get told the next time I upload. So you'll get to see the finished Pokemon. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been great to chat with you today. Stay safe and happy stitching. <laughs>